Hello, it's Lee with AppointmentReminder.com. I uh, wanted to go through a scenario that seems to come up quite a bit, uh, and that is when we want to send a group reminder uh, to multiple people. Uh, maybe you got a convention coming up or just an event that requires uh, multiple, pe multiple people to be notified. Uh, of what's going on and so it's really easy to do inside of appointment reminder uh, it just needs to be configured correctly and what we're looking at here is just a regular account there's nothing been set up yet uh, but inside there's just a regular appointment uh, reminder calendar you, you really don't want to connect to an office 365 or a google calendar when doing this simply use the native calendar inside appointmentreminder.com um, if, if you don't have a calendar uh, open and available, you can simply click here, create a new calendar, and down below here, just create this appointment reminder calendar, and you can go through and, and put different options here. I'm just gonna call this group reminders. Um, you can set up different appointment scripts here, to say where you wanna send the emails to, um, and then we're just going to run off the business default as far as when to send the reminder, but I would have some different options here. Probably you would use a sequence and tell it when to uh, send the reminder. So super easy. I'm just going to call that group reminders, and then I can turn on or off each individual reminder how I want uh, the reminders to be sent. From there, this is the step that most people miss. You need to go to customers. And under this section, there's a section called groups. So we're going to go here and we're just going to simply add a group. And we can just call this uh, seminar uh, attendees and submit that. I probably spelled it wrong. Um, now the easiest thing to do from here is simply go into customers and add customer. So go here and then you can just put Jane Doe and whatever their number is. And we're going to tell it we'll send her uh, texts and emails. We don't need to worry about the custom fields at this point. And then down below here, you're going to see this section where it says groups. We are going to add uh, Jane Doe to the seminar attendee group when we add her to the system. So simply just hit submit here. And in this case, if I only had, you know, five to 10 customers or people that I want to work this with, I could just simply click add new customer, continue to add uh, those particular individuals to the group. The next step from there is to go to the calendar uh, that we set up. So we're on group reminders. In this case, I'm going to turn off this other one. I'm on group reminders calendar. And I would go to the date of the event. So let's say it's going to be on the 10th. And under the customer section, I'm going to search uh, that group. So it's going to be seminar attendees. And you'll see here that this is actually a group of people. And I would set the appointment start and date time. It's not going to be an all day. It's just going to be something, let's say, 8 a.m. Uh, on the day, set the end time. And I, from here, I have the choice to as to when to send the sequence. So I could do a 24-hour SMS and a 24-hour email, simply a 24-hour, whatever my heart desires. And or I could go create a new sequence for how I want the reminders to be sent out. In this case, we're just gonna do a 24 hour uh, SMS and 24 hour email. And then we're gonna tell it to send everybody in that group a text message. And then we just hit save here. And then you'll be able to come click back on the appointment and go to the timeline section. You'll be able to see when the reminder is going to be sent out and exactly what would be sent in the reminder text uh, prior to everything going here. Now. If you have a large uh, event, like uh, you know maybe 50 or more people, you can come up into the section called imports, go to customer imports, and then you just hit import here. This is a little wizard that'll walk you through. You need to have an Excel or a CSV file here to do this. And simply just go to here, find your file, and you tell it it's a CSV. Now this is just a very generic column file, you know, with their first name, last name, and their phone number. Um, you, 
um, you can put the it's a comma separated file it's going to detect it here and then when i'm importing up on the top right hand corner i need to tell it to put it in the seminar attendee list um, down below i'm going to map it so it's the phone number first so this would just be the cell phone uh, number here so mobile number and then this is the first name so customer first name and the customer first name uh, customer name continued would be the last name here now i don't need to worry this is just a file that has additional times and whatnot but that's all i really need and or their email if i want to bring that in once i hit next here it's going to go ahead and bring those clients in and attach them to that group one last note on this, uh, and I like the flexibility of it. If I go back into my group section, let's say I've got, you know, uh, maybe a reoccurring group or something that gets notified, but somebody leaves or is now no longer participating. I simply come to the seminar attendee group, hit the edit button. And then from here, if somebody has left the group, let's say Jane is no longer part of the seminar attendees group I simply uncheck her name click update and that's going to pull her out of any of the future group messaging that's happening with that group so hopefully that's a helpful video if you have any additional questions feel free to reach out to us on the chat tool down here in the right hand box and otherwise uh, have a great day